Hello, YouTube world. Well, I'd like to send a message to all my fellow Trump supporters. I'm a big time Trump supporter myself. Now, before I get too, too much started in this, if you're watching the news here lately, if you're reading uh, the Facebook news and all the social media and everything else, when all the liberals said their protest was peaceful, which is not, you've seen all the rioting and looting they've, looting they've been doing destroying pot property, beating up our fellow Trump supporters, you know, Mason and everything else. You know, it seems like the liberals want to destroy our freedom of thought and our freedom to form our own opinions and everything else. But, despite all that and everything else, we need to stick together. The reason I'm making this video is I saw a Facebook video of myself, a patriot, a fellow Trump supporter, saying, we're not standing together. We're not marching like we should. We're not supporting President Trump like we should. And we're not, you know. I mean, we can post all these pro-Trump Facebook memes, pro-Trump pro tweets, even make pro-Trump videos like myself all we want to. That's good, but not good enough, if you know what I mean. What we need to do is start organizing like the liberals and kind of protest them. We need to be marching ourselves, marching in a peaceful manner, you know, unlike the Liptars. We do not need to fall on the liberal level, if you know what I mean. Let's do not destroy property or anything else. Let's make our march peacefully. Let us make our stand and make our point of view, and let's show President Trump that we support him 100% and we're behind him 100%. And we support all his cabinet picks. We support him on his pick for Supreme Court. We support him on, on his pick for Attorney General Jeff Sessions. I think it's an awesome pick. We support him on his pick for Secretary of Education, Nancy DeVoice, which is an awesome pick in my opinion. And we support him on General Mad Dog Mass, Secretary of Defense. And we support him on his choice of Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson. Now, because the Democrats are going out, all out against Donald Trump, President Trump. So we need to go out, all out against them. But Facebooking, YouTube videos, and tweeting, it's just not enough. It's a good start, but it's not enough. We need to do more. We need to be on the streets marching and protesting ourselves. But not in small numbers. If we want to get the media's attention, we want to get President Trump's attention, show him that we stand behind him, we need to march in large numbers. I would love to have a million-man Trump support march in Washington, D.C. myself. The liberals are doing it, so should we. We should march there on Washington with our pro-Trump caps on, say, make America great again, you know. And try not to, and we need to go there. Don't be finding some dumb excuse not to go. We need to go. And not just Washington, all across America, or just start marching around cities, you know. You know, we need to avoid cities like Chicago and New York, those two heavy Democratic areas, that's being honest with you. Washington, D.C. is a good place. You know, it's a good march, you know. Or any sort of kind of conservative city we, we need to march in, you know. We, if you live in small towns, march in small towns, you know. Start marching across America and counter-protest the liberals what they're doing, you know. And by the way, we need to boycott Nordstrom. Myself, I don't like shopping at Nordstrom at all. But then, taking out Ivanka's Trump's merchandise, not selling at Nordstrom, you know, through uh, liberal pressure. So, we need to boycott Nordstrom's. Now, Macy's? Now myself, I love shopping at Macy's. I'm just being honest with you. I think it's an awesome store, you know. They sell awesome clothes. But if Macy's pulls Ivanka's Trunks merchandise, then we need to stop shopping at Macy's and boycott Macy's. We need to counteract everything the liberals doing. Show them we're not afraid of them. Show them we're not afraid to stand up to them. Okay? If you're a true patriot like myself, if you're a true Trump supporter, like myself, then we all need to stand together. Don't listen to the lip tarts. I, don't, I mean, try to make them look stupid. Don't ignore them. Counteract them. If they try to debate you, debate back with them. If they try to argue, argue back with them. Try to make them look stupid. Okay? You know? Because I think Trump is on, on a good start. Banning these seven countries is a good start and just awesome. And that's what we need to do. Don't be afraid to stand up these liberals. We need to stand up to them. If we don't stand up to them, then they win. Because they're getting the point of cost. 
we need to get our point across. Trump is doing everything in his power, and he's fighting them. He just fought the Democrat Senate hard on Jeff Sessions, rightfully so. And a lot of us fought hard with Jeff Sessions. But we need to do harder. We need to try harder. We need to fight harder. Okay. But keep it peaceful, okay? Let's not riot. Let's not loot. Let's don't beat people up. Let's not destroy property. We need not to fall down on the liberal level. We do not need to do that. We need to make our protests peaceful and show the libtards, the liberals, we're not afraid of them. Well, short and sweet, I'll make this point out clear to all my fellow Trump supporters. Thanks for watching. God bless you, and bye-bye.